Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, coming back to you with another video. Uh, people seem to be liking the videos, so we're going to keep bringing them to you. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, some sort of sad of passing of uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, self-help motivational guru and all-around good guy. A uh, quote from him, one of his quotes, one of his many, was, uh, don't die with the uh, music inside you. And I just wanted to speak to that a little bit. And uh, like I said, a lot of people have um, responded to, to these videos, and some people said they really got a lot out of them. And I had a friend even tell me she teared up a little bit at one of my videos. So you never, you never have any idea. You never know what uh, what you're going to say or do, how it's going to affect someone, how it's going to touch them, and reach them in a particular way. You you just never know. So. Speaking to the, the quote by Wayne Dyer, you know, not dying with the music inside you. Get it out, whatever it is you have in you, your talents, your gifts, your aspirations, whatever it is, get it out there because you, you never know who it's going to affect and who's going to be helped by it, you know. And um, today I have my uh, friend and co-worker, Elizabeth. Say hey, Elizabeth. Hi, with her With her pink hair. <laughs> we work together at the hair salon. They're at Haircutters International come and see us and uh, Elizabeth is a, a perfect example of what we're talking about here um, she's not one to um, just carry the music around inside of her she gets it out and yeah, she's mm -hmm. she's a gifted talented stylist and is oh, thank you. not afraid to uh, just go for it and get it out there and do what she can to help people and uh, did you want to say something about that Elizabeth yes um, like for instance of my pink hair I am not, I was never a person to do crazy hair the color. I've done red, silver, but that's still kind of a natural color. So but yesterday I decided I did not want to be comfortable anymore. I didn't want to be comfortable anymore. So I went in the salon and I said, I'm going to be pink. <laughs> and this is the first time I ever did it. And I absolutely love it and I feel like it's bringing out a different side of me of course people are like oh wow Elizabeth has another side of her yes I do <laughs> I love I, it, it's just making me feel a different type of way making me feel like you know being uncomfortable is actually kind of comfortable and right. I in getting it out of me makes me feel better helping other people you know getting out of their usual comfortable look and then bringing out a different side of them makes them feel all the better later on in life and as things go by and it goes for a lot of things too as in doing something different like talking to people that you would never talk to or doing something for people that you, they would never expect or right. you know talk, you know speaking to someone that you would never usually speak to or something like that it sure. maybe bring something different out of you maybe something inside of you is hidden and something someone that you would never even know of can bring it out of you it doesn't have to be a hair color it could be a new belt or a new pair of shoes or just a new route in the way you're driving to work. You never know. But it, I encourage everyone to sometimes get out of your comfort zone. Be uncomfortable. It's okay. It is okay. There you go. So exactly what I was talking about. And uh, we were on the same page. Uh, even before we uh, started talking, we were uh, we were kind of both uh, thinking about the same kinds of yep. things before we even decided to do this. Yep. So there you go. And uh, another person I wanted to uh, kind of bring to bring to light and their passing uh, uh, along with uh, Dr. Dyer was also uh, Wes Craven, a horror film writer, actor, director. Um, maybe on the surface two opposite ends of the spectrum you know you have a self-help guy and then you have a horror film guy uh, but uh, they're related uh, in a way that you may not may not think about um, he was a like I said a horror film director and he was he was on a panel with um, a group of other guys one one guy uh, Rob Zombie comes to mind he's a uh, musician and uh, filmmaker in his own right and one of the students on the panel stood up and asked Wes Craven, what advice would you give to an aspiring writer, someone who wanted to be a writer? And his answer was, get a pad and a pen and start writing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. 
get it out of you. You have it in you, get it out. Yep. It's got to come out. So if you're a writer, a filmmaker, uh, make a video, write it down, get it on a book, get it on a piece of paper. If uh, you're a painter, get it on a canvas. Yep. Get Even it out if it there. makes you uncomfortable. There you go. If you're a singer, sing it. I yep. mean, technology is, is so cheap and available now. You know, get it down, get it recorded, get it out there, get it on YouTube, get it on a video. Yep. Let people know about it. Don't die with the music inside you. No. So we're going to wrap it up now. We appreciate you tuning in on this uh, Taurus talk, similar to Ray Higdon's Tesla talk. But uh, I don't have a Tesla, I have a Taurus. So <laughs> you, you go with what you got, okay? Uh, we appreciate you guys. Uh, if this helped you, you liked it in any way, share it around. Uh, reach out to me on Daryl Wayne Klein on Facebook. And you can find Elizabeth where, honey? Um, I'm also on Facebook at Elizabeth Ambrosio. And your My Instagram? My Instagram is right? classic underscore honey. And I always post different hairstyles, uncomfortable things. And you'll see these women love it. There you go. And it, your hashtag? A classic touch. Hashtag a classic touch on Instagram. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Love you. And uh, let us know if you like this. Maybe we'll do. Maybe we'll do it again. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye.